So in this short video we are going to discuss about view factor. So in order to explain this view factor what I will take is I will draw two diagrams. So consider that heat transfer is taking place between these two surfaces let this be surface 1 and let this be surface 2. So heat transfer is taking place between these two surfaces due to radiation. Due to radiation heat transfer is taking place between these two surfaces 1 and 2. Now whenever there is heat transfer due to radiation we have a surface area factor that is the surface area plays a huge role in determining this radiation heat transfer. So to mathematically quantify this thing what we need is the view factor. So whenever we have two surfaces like in this case we will have four view factors. What are they? The first one is F11, F12, F21 and F22. These are the four view factors when we are dealing with heat transfer due to radiation between two surfaces. So if we represent this in a matrix form then we will get something like this F11, F12, F21 and F22. This is known as view factor matrix. So in order to understand these terms, each of these terms better, we will look at this definition that is Fij. Fij is defined as the radiation received by J emitted by I divided by the total radiation emitted by I. So we can clearly see that F11, F11 indicates the radiation received by 1 emitted by 1 divided by the total radiation emitted by 1. So it is the uh, radiation which is emitted by surface 1 and which is hitting 1 itself divided by the total radiation emitted by 1. Also what is F12? F12 is the uh, radiation which is received by 2 emitted by 1 divided by the total radiation which is emitted by 1. So th likewise you can find the meaning of all four of these. So what is important here is we will solve important problems at last. But uh, another thing which we need to do is we need to learn two important relations which are required in order to find all of these. So before moving forward another exercise that I have is consider I have two three surfaces like this. In the previous example I showed with two surfaces now I have three surfaces. So if I have three surfaces and if they ask how many view factors will be there how will you answer. So in this case there will be nine view factors. First one will be F11 then F12 then F13 then F21 F22 F23 and lastly F31 F32 and F33. So 9 view factors will be present in total. Now you will be wondering how we will find the values of each of these. To answer this I will show the next part which is the two important equations. So the first important rule is the summability rule. What does the summability rule says? If I have n number of surfaces, if I have n number of surfaces then F11 plus F12 plus F13 plus dot 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 F1n this will be equal to 1. So let me show this for two surfaces. If I have these two surfaces 1 and 2 and heat transfer is taking place due to radiation what I can write F11 plus F12 equals to 1. Also what I can write F22 plus F21 this will also be equal to 1. So we get this two equations by using this summability rule in this case. So what happens if I have three surfaces? If I have three surfaces like this, this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. Then what I can write? Then F11 plus F12 plus F13 this will be equal to 1. Also F22 plus F23 plus F21 this will be equal to 1. And lastly F33 plus F32 plus F31 this will be equal to 1. We get 3 equations using this uh, 3 surfaces and using the summability rule. So if I have 3 surfaces and if I use summability rule these are the 3 equations that I will obtain for the view factors and if I have 2 surfaces and I use summability rule then I will get these 2 equations. So the next important rule is the reciprocity rule. Now I am showing the rules but later on when we will solve the problems I will show how to use them. So what is the reciprocity rule? It states that Ai times Fij equals to Aj times Fji. So what is this? 
so again consider two surfaces and heat transfer is taking place due to radiation this is one this is two now reciprocity rule from reciprocity rule what i can write is a1 f12 equals to a2 f21 so if i know the surface area of a1 and if i know the surface area of this two then i know a1 and a2 so i get a relationship between f12 and f21 so similarly what i can do is if i have three surfaces if i have three surfaces like this this is one this is two this is three and again heat transfer is taking place due to radiation then how will we use this reciprocity rule i can write a1 f12 equals to a2 a2 f21 also what i can do i can write a1 f13 equals to a3 f31 also what i can write is 2 f 2 3 equals to a 3 f 3 2 so these are the relations that i can obtain so putting the values of a 1 a 2 a 3 i get relationship between a 1 2 a 2 1 f f 1 2 f 2 1 f 1 3 f 3 1 and f 2 3 f 3 2 it looks complicated over here but when i will solve the problems this will become more clear so now we will solve a problem so in this question they have given a cylinder and they are asking to find f21 they have also given that f13 equals to 3 minus 2 root 2 they have given the value of f13 and they are asking to calculate f21 and this is the cylinder in the cylinder the diameter is equal to the length of the cylinder this is the surface 1 this is surface 2 and this is surface 3 to solve this first what i will do is first we will use the relation f11 plus f12 plus f13 what will this be this will be equal to 1 from summability rule so what they have given is they have given f13 this i know now what about f11 if you look closely f11 will be equal to 0 because no radiation which is leaving from surface 1 will actually hit 1 it will either hit 2 or it will either hit 3 or it will hit this surface which is also 2 it will not return back to 1 this is not possible so f11 will be 0 so what i have is let me clear the diagram so what i will have is uh, f11 is 0 so f12 plus f13 equals to 1 what is f13 f13 is already given to us 3 minus 2 root 2 this equals to 1 so f12 this will be equal to 2 root 2 plus 1 minus 3 so this is equal to 2 root 2 minus 2 this is what f12 is so now that whenever i have f12 always uh, remember that if i know f12 i know f21 because from f12 if i want to know f21 i will simply use the reciprocity rule so what is reciprocity rule a1 f12 equals a2 f21 so what is a1 a1 is you can simply calculate it from the figure area sir what is surface area of 1 it is simply pi d square by 4 so pi d square by 4 times what is f12 2 root 2 minus 2 equals to a2 now what will be a2 a2 is this surface area of this cylinder so what will this be pi d times the length so length is also d so this will be let me write it as like this the surface area of the cylinder is pi d l times f21 now what is pi d l over here this can be written as a written as pi d into d because l and d are same in this case into f21 so simply cancel pi pi cancel d square d square so what will be the value of f21 f21 is simply 2 root 2 minus 2 divided by 4 so what will this become root 2 minus 1 divided by 2 so this is the answer so this is the answer of this question that is f21 equals to root 2 minus 1 divided by 2 we will solve some more problems so in this case two concentric spheres are given inner one has the radius r and the outer one has the radius 2r they are asking to calculate the view factor matrix so what is the view factor matrix for two surfaces i have showed above it is f11 f12 f21 and f22 so we have to find all the view factors 
so it is simple first we will find f11 this inner one is the surface one and outer is the surface two so what will be f11 so f11 will be zero f11 this will be equal to zero why because radiations from surface one will never hit surface one itself it will hit surface two that is why f11 will be zero so we have calculated one now what we need to do is we need to use the summability rule f11 plus f12 this will be equal to one this is from summability rule so if f11 equals to zero then simply f12 equals to one so we have calculated two view factors now f21 so to calculate f21 we will again use the summability rule that is f22 plus f21 equals to one if you are not comfortable with these equations see the summability rule part there i have explained clearly how i am getting these equations so f22 plus f21 equals to one this is for two surface area systems so what will this be so here if i can calculate one that is either f22 or f21 i can find the other one that is i need only one of these to calculate the other now remember from reciprocity rule if i know f12 then i also know f21 by reciprocity rule so what is the reciprocity rule a1 f12 equals to a2 f21 so i know f12 i know the surface areas i can easily calculate f21 so what is a1 a1 is 4 pi r square which is the surface area of a sphere 4 pi r square times f12 what is f12 it is 1 equals to a2 what is a2 a2 is the surface area of this outer one which is 4 pi r, r2 square so what is r2 it is 2 r1 so 2 2 is a 4 into r square times f21 so 4 pi 4 pi cancel r square r square cancel so what is f21 f21 is nothing but 1 by 4 so i know f21 i can calculate f22 from this equation what will be f22 f22 is 1 minus 1 by 4 this is equal to 3 by 4 so i know all the view factors now f11 f12 f22 f21 so i can calculate the matrix the matrix will be what is f11 f11 is 0 what is f12 f12 is 1 what is f21 f21 is 1 by 4 and this is 3 by 4 so this is my view factor matrix for this concentric sphere so in this video i have solved total of two problems i have solved two problems and also i have solved two problems and also in this video we have discussed about view factor from right from the beginning and also i have shown what summability rule is and what reciprocity rule is so let's keep this video up to this much in the next video i'm going to make another short video where i will solve some more problems and give a little bit of summation or a little give bit of summary of this entire thing so that just before the exam you can revise from that video thank you